The best part about the Mac Pro is that it's one of the only Macs out there that's very user customizable and upgradable. And since it's released last year, we've seen a lot of PCIe modules, graphic cards, and other accessories that have been released in order to help make upgrading your Mac Pro extremely easy. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Sonnet Fusion Flex J3i system that can give users up to 36 terabytes of additional storage built right into your Mac Pro. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. The Fusion Flex J3i is a mount system for your 2019 Mac Pro that can fit up to three SATA drives, allowing users to expand their Mac Pro's internal storage up to 36 terabytes, which is a crazy amount of built-in storage and a lot more than Apple's eight terabyte SSD limit. It's important to note that technically these drives will not be your main boot up disk and will act more like an external drive that's just kind of always plugged into your Mac and available upon boot up. I believe there is a way to make one of these drives a location in which Mac OS is installed on and booted from, but I'm not entirely familiar with that process, so I don't wanna give you any wrong information. It's also worth mentioning that the J3i system does not come with hard drives. You will need to purchase those separately. You can install either two 3.5 inch drives along with one 2.5 inch SSD, or you can install all three 2.5 inch SSDs instead. The choice and flexibility is of course up to you. For this video, I'm using only two four terabyte 3.5 hard drives because well, that's really what I had lying around that I could use. But again, the storage choice is completely up to you. Installation is pretty simple. The hard drives themselves only need four screws to attach to the J3i mounting system itself. You just simply remove the SSD plates from the J3i by using a screwdriver to unscrew the two screws on each side per plate. Then you just insert the hard drive directly into the mounting system. You don't need that plate and attach by using the same four screws that came with the system. All you have to do is repeat that process if you plan to install a second 3.5 inch drive. Now, if you wanna use an SSD in conjunction with the two 3.5 inch drives, you can use the black screws that come with the unit and then you attach them directly to the bottom of the J3i unit itself. It's pretty simple to do. Next, you're gonna to wanna to remove the cover to your Mac Pro and then unscrew that plate at the top and gently insert the J3i into the Mac Pro. The hard drives themselves attach to the Mac via SATA cables, which will come with the Fusion Flex J3i unit when you open it up. And the Mac Pro is clearly labeled one, two, and three. However, it really doesn't matter. It should be pretty easy to distinguish which plugs go where. And then you just reattach the plate to the top of the Mac Pro and put the case back on and you should be all set. Once you boot up your Mac Pro, you should see your drives mounted and ready for use. This really is a great plug and play solution. I love that the Fusion Flex offers a clean, easy solution for Mac Pro owners, especially ones like myself, who did not opt into getting a larger storage capacity at checkout. I just knew that there were going to be more cost-effective options out there to easily get more storage and performance without breaking the bank. Now to give you some perspective, you can get 32 terabytes of storage by just purchasing two 16 terabyte 3.5 inch drives from Amazon for roughly $800 total. Of course, don't forget about the $200 that it takes to purchase the J3i system itself. So you're looking at about $1,000. That's incredible value when you put it in perspective that eight terabytes of storage at checkout from Apple is an extra $2,600. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Dan, those are SSDs and they are a lot faster and offer better performance than those large spinning disks and they don't typically fail as easily. And while yes, that is 100% true, we can take a look at getting three, three terabyte SSDs for mounting in the Fusion Flex system for around $700 plus the $200 it takes to buy the unit itself. So you're still under a thousand dollars which is still incredible savings and much faster read write speeds over the 3.5 inch hard drives that we talked about earlier personally i already have a few pcie ssd modules inserted into the mac pro already in which i use to edit all of my videos off of and store my final cut pro libraries in order to get those maximum read write speeds and the performance while editing videos i then use this j3i to store larger files or raw images and video files etc since I have much more room to work with. It's a great setup for those who just need that extra space to get things done. 
The Sonnet Fusion Flex J3i is available for $199, of course that is without the drives, and I would absolutely love to know your thoughts on this system. Do you use something similar with your Mac Pro? How's your workflow set up? Do you have SSDs, you know, extra larger hard drives for storage? Just go ahead and let me know what you guys do in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.